I am super, super, super excited today. And I'm so excited, I am standing up. Why am I standing up? Because I feel like sharking a bone. Why am I striking a pose? Because today I came up with a challenge for myself and it's something that I am going to do. And I needed some body footage for it. What is it? Well, you're gonna have to wait until after these messages to find out because I'm super excited. I'm fabulous, too fabulous. I'm saving lives while saving mine. doing some thinking and I looked at the calendar and I realized that it is six weeks today Monday June the 15th is exactly six weeks away from my what my 47th birthday and I was like oh, what and so what I did was I made two goals well I made the first goal before I realized that it was going to be six weeks to my 47th birthday, but I made a goal. The first goal I made was when I got on the scale today, I'm going to post the um, image of what my scale said because I have the greater good scale. I love my scale. And I am 252.4 as of today. And yes, on that image, you're going to see that there's a hump in there. Well, that hump came from when I was in the 10 days with my husband in that truck and we were traveling around and eating his type of food. Yes, I gained 12 pounds in 10 days. Blasphemy. But anyway, um, when we were in the truck, yes, I did gain those 12 pounds. And that's why that sharp incline on that scale right there but you see that it dropped off and so as of today i am 252.4 and my first goal is to get under 250 pounds by next monday my my way in next monday to be under 250 pounds i know you're saying that's only 2.4 pounds you know that's like doable yes it is doable but it's not doable if i don't do it because sometimes we get sidetracked and we get overwhelmed with things and we we just lose sight of our goal. But my first goal is to lose those 2.4 pounds by next week. Yes, I want to be well under that by next week. If I can lose 4 pounds by next week or 5 pounds, that would be awesome. But I'm going to stick with just my current goal, being under 250 pounds. So 2.499, I am straight. Also, now, then later on in the day, when the day went on, y'all like my little hot pants? <laughs> Let me stop clowning. But I'm excited because it's my 47th birthday coming up in six weeks. And so this is my next goal that I made. I want to be 230 or less. So that gives me six weeks to drop 22.4 pounds. And you know, can I do it? Of course I can do it. Today I posted on Instagram, I put my current weight on there and I put my challenge on there. My challenge to myself is to first lose the 2.4 pounds by next week and two, to by the time I hit 47, to be at least down to 230. It'd be great if I can get down to 226 pounds because the significance with 226 pounds will be, that will be a total weight loss for me of 70 pounds. And you know, so 70 pounds, that would be like a great birthday present to myself because you look at this, let's look at the numbers. Okay, I was born on 7 July 27th. Seven, two, seven, and fabulous, too fabulous. Okay, I'm being goofy now. But anyway, but that would be a great goal to make of being at least 70 pounds total weight loss down and doing it by my 47th birthday. That would be like a birthday present to myself. So what else I'm going to do to make sure that I make this 
weight loss goal? I'm joining a diet bet. <gasps> I keep seeing them on Instagram and different places on the internet. They're called diet bets. And some people will be like, oh, that's horrible because, you know, you're going to make people feel bad because they didn't lose the weight. No. If you have the right mindset, you, you're going to try to make, to win your money back. And then on top of it, if I lose my goal weight, which your goal weight is you, um, with the diet bet, I think this particular one has, you have to lose 4% of your body weight. And I believe it's 30 days. So you have four weeks to lose 4% of your body weight, which that is not a lot of weight because if I was trying to lose, I'm trying to lose 10% by the time. I reach 47, so just to do the little 4%, that should be easy, right? Right, yeah, you said it right, right. So, I'm going to be determined. I have to put in the hard work, and I have to do it because I don't want to let myself down. This is going to be a birthday present to myself, and when I win that money and prizes from that um, from that birthday diet bet, that's going to be my birthday me, me money. Happy birthday to me. And that's what I'm going to call it. How many of you want to join me? It might not be your birthday. Um, your birthday might be six months from now. But why wait till six weeks before your birthday like I did? I'm a procrastinator. Don't, don't try to do what I do. But why don't you just join me now? You don't even have to do the diet bet. But just make an effort. Be like, hey, look, I want to lose 4% along with you. But I'll be excited that you lost 4% of your weight because you was trying to encourage me. See, that would be awesome. So if you want to join in, email me, write me, send me a message, carry a pigeon, tie two cans, put it to your ear. Just let me know when I need to pick up so I can hear, so I know we interacting. But anyway, however you want to do it, put it down in the comments. And um, if you think I'm being too too extreme let me know and then i'm gonna tell you why not but anyway i'm just super excited i'm pumped up about it because if you have i'm super excited about it and i'm pumped up about it and i'm really excited because i have spent a an entire week you know because i guess i kind of had like an epiphany because all last week i was sick i'm gonna tell you why i was sick let me tell you what happened to me. I was putting out some, it was a natural pest, pesticide. It's called diatomaceous earth. And I did not put on a mask and the wind blew and it blew it in my face. I inhaled it. It got into my lungs. My lungs were inflamed and it hurt to breathe. I woke up in the middle of the night thinking, I, oh Lord, I contracted coronavirus. What in the world? Why is, am I dying? Am I having a heart attack? I know it just hurts to breathe. And so, but I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And then it, then it came back to my memory. Oh girl, you remember you got the stuff and the wind blew and you know, all that. Okay. So anyway, I wound up going to the doctor a couple of days later and she's like, your lungs are inflamed. And so I had to get this medicine, I had to get two shots in the cheeks and ow. And that was, that was not fun at all. But today I can breathe. I mean, I can breathe without pain. I can breathe. Woo, that feels great. But anyway, so while I was doing all this thinking, because, you know, I've been kind of like, I've been off work. I've kind of been shut in. I haven't really been doing anything. And so then today I was free to breathe and I was breathing better and I was feeling better. And so then I just started going over like, you know what? What's some goals I want to achieve? And then especially after I got up the scale of 252.4, because that means I lost weight over the weekend. Booyah. And then, um, and so then I was kind of like, just doing some thinking. And then I like looked at the calendar. And I was like, oh, my birthday is in exactly six weeks. And I was thinking about my nephew's birthday, which is tomorrow. Happy birthday, BJ. And then my niece's birthday is in a couple in 10 days. Happy birthday, Jessica. And so, and then I was thinking about all this stuff. And then I was like, whoa, what am I gonna do for myself? Hey, we do so much for so many people. Why not do something for yourself? 
So I told myself I'm going to lose at least 22.4 pounds because I want to be 230 pounds. And um, I'm not going to call this person's name, but they know if I catch them, it's going to be dangerous because I'm going to harass them. Because I'm going to keep sending them like, girl, look where my I'm greater good scale said. Look what my weight is today. Look. At and if I catch them, they are going to be miserable. So they're going to be so miserable, they're going to lose weight. <laughs> Just to get away from me. But anyway, but... That's something I can do for myself. And it's not just for myself, technically. It's for myself. It's for my husband. It's for my family. Because I'll be healthier. I'll be around longer. And no, I'm not going to do it in, a, in, a, in an unhealthy way. I'm not going to starve myself. No, I'm just going to do it the right way. I'm going to, of course, I'm doing keto, but I look at keto because I'm doing clean keto. I'm going to do clean keto. I'm going to exercise. And I'm going to do intermittent fasting. So those three things together, I have already proven to myself that they work. And they work amazingly well together. And so I'm going to do all three. And so that's why I had to take a little, um, a little footage of myself because I want to see myself. I am super excited. I'm super pumped. And so if you see me slacking, like if you see me with like, like a real burger in my mouth, you'd be like, girl, hey, you're trying to be 230. I mean, I might not know who you are. And I'm like, hmm, who is that? I might get a little afraid, but just do it anyway. Because we're holding each other accountable. And that's another reason that I put it on Instagram was because I'm holding myself accountable. So... I am signing off because and because I think I'm finished now. I might have to edit some of this stuff out because I know I was talking super fast. Might even have to redo the whole video. I wonder if I started to record with it. But anyway, join me on Weight Wisdom Wednesday. I can't believe I said that fast. And I said it fast because I'm super pumped. So join me on Weight Wisdom Wednesday and Fabulous Foodie Fridays and on some week to two Sundays. All right. See you later. Smooches.